Justin Trudeau is a politician elected on a platform of an identity politics obsessive. We, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. Because it's 2015. Despite his blackface past, in which the Canadian Prime Minister, for some reason unbeknownst to me, decided that Aladdin, possibly the whitest character in the whole film, required blackface, and even black hands. It probably explains why he was one of the few world leaders to take the knee during the Black Lives Matter protests. <laughs> Self-flagellating himself for the racist mistakes of his past. Post-pandemic, Trudeau, when I feel like I'm about to vomit in my mouth and just saying this out loud, has said Canadians need to counter the she session and turn it into a she covering. No, no, I'm absolutely not making that up. I shit you not. It is exactly the example of the kinds of things you need to do to counter the she, se the she session and turn it into a she covering. For all of these reasons and more, Walked or Trudeau is seen as a woke joke on the international stage. Brutal. That might explain why then, folks, it was a bit of a risky decision to call a snap election. Clearly the chap decided that Lux and the Walksionary would get him over the line again. Clearly galvanised by the fact he'd been comfortably leading as the pandemic prime minister in poll after poll for more than a year. Well, folks, it looks like the Prince of Wokeness has made a mistake similar to Theresa May's calamitous snap election in 2017, where she asked the question, who do you want running the country, me or Jeremy Corbyn? And the electorate basically turned around and said, neither of you. The Conservative Party had made the election a question, the question being, are you happy with Mr Trudeau? And the answer seems to be coming to the Canadians, a hard no. Over recent days, his gender equality minister, because of course he has a gender equality minister, has called the Taliban brothers. I want to take this opportunity to speak to our brothers, the Taliban. Yes, I'm sure, love, that they care immensely about gender equality, not so much about the emancipation of women, the right to vote, and of course the right to access education, but there we are. In woke dose world, that doesn't matter. He's also said he wants to make getting the jab compulsory, leading a criticism from his conservative opponents. When asked who was the best person to lead the country out of this crisis, Trudeau came last at 23%. Canada's the only country to post a rollback of growth in the economy last quarter. Public debt is spiralling faster than Trudeau's polling numbers are tumbling, and the bloke has riled the nation's climate-conscious voters by presiding over a 1% increase in greenhouse gas emissions. Quite like, as I've mentioned, the arrogance displayed by Mrs May in that 2017 election. With vague, uncosted proposals and tax increases, May tried to get by on her, at that time, believe it or not, strong woman image. How wrong we were. Justin Trudeau has tried to get by on looks and vacuous platitudes alone. And let's hope, like Mrs May folks, Justin Trudeau becomes but a distant memory for unfortunate Canadian voters. Reasoned relies upon grassroots donations from people like yourself that want us to continue producing our high quality free thinking content. So please do consider clicking the link and donating no matter how big, no matter how small, because it really does ensure that we can keep on keeping on.